There's, there is a dua from the Prophet ﷺ that is narrated in multiple forms. And one of the things about the duas of the Prophet ﷺ that get narrated through multiple companions and in multiple forms is that you can take a sense of priority from the Prophet ﷺ and derive a deep sense of understanding just from the things he used to ask Allah for and from the things he used to ask Allah to be protected from. And in this particular dua, I wanted to focus on a portion of it, inshaAllah ta'ala, that I think speaks to an interesting question that I was actually asked some time ago, which I hope, inshaAllah, this khutbah can be a part of answering. And a few weeks ago, I'd given a khutbah about the hearts and how the hearts can have a true sense of khashya, a true sense of awe and fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and how to move the heart, how to diagnose the heart, and then make it a fit heart, a healthy heart. But in this dua from the Prophet Sallallahu he used to, as is narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu say, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-arba'a. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from four things. Now these four things, this dua will have different sequences sometimes, but the four things are always the same four things. So the four things that he used to seek refuge in Allah from, he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min qalbin la yakhsha. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min qalbin la yakhsha. Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from a heart that does not fear you, from a heart that has no humility. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min qalbin la yakhsha. Wa min nafsin la tashba. وَمِن نَفْسٍ لَا تَشْبَعُ And I seek refuge in you, O Allah, from a soul that is never satisfied, a self whose cravings are never met, an unsatiated self. مِن نَفْسٍ لَا تَشْبَعُ وَمِن عِلْمٍ لَا يَنْفَعُ وَمِن عِلْمٍ لَا يَنْفَعُ And from knowledge that is of no benefit. وَمِن دُعَاءٍ لَا يُسْمَعُ وَمِن دُعَاءٍ لَا يُسْمَعُ and from a supplication that is not heard, from a du'a that is not heard. The Prophet ﷺ, once again, he would say, and I'll, and I'll use different orders to convey the point. In this narration, for example, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-arba' min ilmin la yanfa' wa min qalbin la yakhsha' wa min nafsin la tashba' wa min du'a'in la yusma'. The Prophet ﷺ would say, I seek refuge in you, O Allah, from four things. From a heart that does not fear you, from a self that is never satisfied, from knowledge that is of no benefit, and from a dua that is not heard. Now, put qalbin la yakhsha aside, and inshallah ta'ala over the next three weeks we'll break down the other three components of this dua, and at the minimum you memorize this dua inshallah, and you start to seek refuge in Allah from these four things constantly bidnillahi ta'ala. I wanted to focus on the one that's least obvious, and the one where you'll find the ulama tried to decipher quite a bit more because its meaning is not as obvious as the others. And that is min nafsin la tashba. From a self that's never satisfied. A self that is constantly craving. And in some narrations, and none of them are authentic, the Prophet ﷺ mentions min aynin la tadma. From an eye that does not shed tears. And while it's not a hadith that can be attributed to him, some of the salihin, the righteous, used to seek refuge in Allah from that as well. The point is Allah gives you these faculties, Allah gives you these tools by which you are supposed to know Him, to long for Him, and to work for Him. To know Him, to long for Him, to work for Him. Allah gave you that heart, not so that you could beat, you know, that heart could beat just so you could breathe. Allah gave you a self, a nafs, with desire so that you could channel that desire into prophetic passion, into passion for good things and use that energy to choose Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over the lower self. Allah gave you that dua as a weapon against your enemies and as a means by which you connect to Him. Allah gave you that knowledge to guide you in this life so that you could have the best path to paradise in the next. Allah gave you these things. Allah gave you the ability to cry so that you could cry for noble things and in ways that are noble. 